The city is nearing completion of the project to identify a bike route for all ages and abilities through the heart of the city and connecting our two lakes. After completing a technical analysis and consulting with the community, the city has narrowed down the options for the preferred route. We are now gathering feedback on this preferred route before seeking approval from Council later this fall. In this video, we will walk through the route section by section to help residents understand how it will change our streets and intersections. The preferred route is divided into four sections, beginning at the south end of the city at Skaha Lake. The city looked at multiple options for each section and evaluated them on safety, appeal to all ages and abilities, road and bike lane dimensions, directness of the route, access to key destinations, parking impacts, cost implications, and feedback from the community. This illustration shows the preferred option for each section and how they will connect. Let's take a closer look at each section. This diagram shows the different options that were considered for the first section of the route. Option 1D runs along South Main Street and is the option that is being recommended due to its directness, access to key destinations, minimal impacts to parking, community support, and the ability to implement it in the short term. Now, you may be asking, isn't there already a bike route on South Main? While there are conventional bike lanes on this road, they do not meet the criteria for an all ages and abilities bike route. The city is proposing to reconfigure these routes by switching the parking and southbound bike lane on the west side so that the bike lane is next to the curb and the parked cars create a buffer for additional protection. A barrier will also be added to the northbound bike lane on the east side. This next diagram shows the different options for the second section of the route. Option 2D is the preferred option. It follows Atkinson Street and the KVR pathway north of Duncan Avenue. This option had the highest level of community support as well as met the criteria for direct access to key locations such as Cherry Lane Shopping Center, Safeway and other businesses on Main Street. The photo on the left shows Atkinson Street, where there are no bicycle facilities at present. New bike lanes will incorporate barriers to provide protection for riders of all ages and abilities. The photo on the right shows one of the pathways north of Duncan Avenue that the route will follow. Let's take a moment to see how cyclists will make the transition from Atkinson Street to the pathways north of Duncan Avenue. This illustration shows a new traffic signal at the Duncan and Atkinson intersection to allow cyclists to cross safely and to improve safety for pedestrians and motorists. A new two-way cycle path on the north side of Duncan Avenue will connect with the existing multi-use pathway. The next section of the route will take cyclists along Fairview Road. Two options were considered one with protected bike lanes on both sides of Fairview Road and the other with a two-way cycle track on the east side of the road. A two-way cycle track is preferred in order to connect with the final section of the route on Martin Street. One advantage of the two-way cycle track is that it allows for left turn lanes on Fairview Road, which will minimize traffic delays and potential safety issues. Now, you may be wondering how the two-way cycle track on Fairview Road will transition to the next section on Martin Street. This picture shows the changes that will need to be made on Fairview Road at Winnipeg Street to allow cyclists to continue on a direct route to the downtown. The northbound slip lane will be modified to reduce vehicle speeds and to allow for the separated two-way cycle track to be installed. A raised pedestrian crossing is also proposed to improve safety for pedestrians at this location. This brings us to the final section of the route, which will give cyclists direct access to the city's downtown. After consultation with residents and businesses in the downtown, and based on the criteria set at the outset of the project, the city is recommending the Martin Street option, which is option 4C, for this critical section of the route. The Martin Street option is recommended because it provides direct access for cyclists, 
has the least parking impacts and with two travel lanes it allows for buses, delivery vehicles and emergency vehicles to stop without impeding traffic. Let's take a closer look at some key intersections along this section. The cycle track on the east side of Fairview Road will transition to the west side of Martin Street in order to continue through the downtown. To make this transition, the city is proposing a jog at the slip lane just north of the library. A two-way cycle path will be constructed on the green space and will direct cyclists to the two-way cycle track on the west side of Martin Street. Once on the west side of Martin Street, cyclists will carry on past the Supateria and Orchard House through the intersection at Westminster Avenue and into the heart of the downtown. As you can see in this illustration, new curbs will be needed at the intersection of Westminster Avenue. Further north, some of the work to revitalize Martin Street will need to be reconstructed in the 200 block of Martin Street. As is often the challenge with introducing bike routes on existing roads, some residents and businesses may feel they are negatively impacted by the route with the loss of on-street parking or changes to access, busing and waste collection. Many cities have dealt successfully with these impacts and Penticton can as well. The city understands these impacts and will work with affected residents and businesses to mitigate them where possible if the bike route moves forward. That brings us to the north end of the route. This final illustration shows how the Martin Street cycle track will cross Lakeshore Drive and connect cyclists with the existing trails along Okanagan Lake, completing their journey across town. This presentation is intended to help you understand how the Lake to Lake route will make it easier and safer for cyclists of all ages and abilities to get to a wide range of destinations across the city and how it will impact residents and businesses along the route. More detailed information about the technical analysis and the consultation process that was conducted to determine these recommendations is available at shapeyourcitypenticton.ca.